what's going on? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video and this was requested by Danielle Rivera and she said I would love a drugstore glam look for those days you just want a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing today. Thank you Danielle for your request and this is basically my version of a drugstore glam look. Um, this is definitely what I would wear if I was going out at night hanging with some friends and stuff. So if you want to see how I got this look then all you have to do is stay tuned. So I'm starting off with some skincare products. I'm using my Carmex Lip Balm to moisturize my lips, my Burt's Bees Daily Moisturizing Cream to moisturize my whole entire face, and then I'm using the Ulla Hendrickson, it's the Eye Lift Gel. I think you're only supposed to use this at night, but I like to use it during the day and at night. Don't judge me, but it's really, really nice. And then I let that sink in, and for my foundation today, I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me in 120. I just dot it on my face, and then I take my damp complexion sponge by Real Technique and I buff that foundation in and I really like this foundation a lot it gives a really nice satin finish and as you can see it's covering up most of my acne scars and blemishes I am breaking out like crazy right now um, and this foundation does a good job it doesn't cling on to my dry patches and it lasts for a pretty long time the only thing is you have to set it with a powder or else it will get really really dewy I'm priming my eyes with the Wet n Wild Primer. This is in the Fergie Collection. This is definitely my favorite eyeshadow primer. And then to give my eyes and eyebrows just a little extra something, I'm using the Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter Stick. This is going right underneath my eyebrow, and when I put my highlighter shade, it's just really going to help intensify that. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I had to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I can't find a good drugstore pencil, guys. I apologize. But I am using Milani's Brow Clear gel to set them in place and then I really really want my eyeshadows to pop so I'm using Maybelline's color tattoo in barely beige and just putting that all over my lid and then to just help define the crease a little bit I'm using Milani's Bella Cappuccino and this is also going to be my transition shade I'm taking Maybelline's Copper Chic Quad and I'm taking the darkest brown there and this is going in my crease and in the outer V. I'm packing that color on and then blending it out. I love this color. It has nice warm tones. It has that reddish tint so it goes really well with the lid color that I'm going to be putting on. So like I said, I'm packing it on and then blending out. Blending is key so if it looks a little messy now, don't worry. Just blend it out and you should be totally fine. So this is my favorite part. This is L'Oreal's Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. And it's a beautiful rose gold color. And as you can see, it just really makes my eyes pop. I'm packing that color on and then blending it out just a little bit. I want this eyeshadow to really pop because it's just so pretty. So I'm packing it and packing it on and then blending it out until it's it just looks perfect. So for concealer today, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me to cover up the darkness underneath my eyes. And then to brighten, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for dark circles. This is the brightener version. And I'm cleaning up that eyeshadow edge with the damp sponge and just blending everything out. And then I'm going to quickly do the same thing to my other eye. Now I'm just highlighting my forehead with the Maybelline Brightener. I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers quickly. It does not have to be perfect. I'm going to be bronzing and that's just going to help blend everything out. And then to soften up the edges of my eyeshadow, I'm taking L'Oreal's Endless Pearl. This is just going to help give my eyeshadow more of a gradient up to my eyebrow. And then to actually highlight underneath there, I'm using the same shade, L'Oreal Endless Pearl. And it's going right on top of that Milani stick that I used earlier. To set my under eye concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 120. I do like this powder. It's not as good as L'Oreal's True Match. Um, it gives a little bit more coverage than the Maybelline one, but Maybelline one is still a good one. It does the job. I'm lining my lower lash line with the dark brown from the Copper Chic palette. I don't know where I got this eyeliner brush. I think I got it from like TJ Maxx one day a really long time ago. But now I'm just lining my upper lash line, winging it out a little bit like I usually do with the Physicians Formula eyeliner. You guys know the drill. I think I'm ready to try a new eyeliner. So if you guys have any suggestions, the eyeliner has to be easy to use, guys. Not good at eyeliner. So help me out. 
Then I'm just doing my regular mascara routine. This is Maybelline's Colossal Volume Express and Maybelline's Illegal Length. Now moving back to the face, I'm using the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark. I'm just bronzing up my temples and my cheekbones, also bringing it down my neck. And I have a ton of baby hairs, I know. It's a struggle, guys. It is a struggle. Now onto contouring, I'm using e.l.f.'s Cool Bronzer, which is my favorite drugstore bronzer ever to contour. And I'm just contouring my cheeks and my temples. If you guys want just a really easy way to contour, sometimes when I watch contouring and highlighting videos, they're just so complicated, I'm just like, no. If you guys want like an easy video, let me know down below and I'll do it because I like the way I contour and I feel like it looks nice, so it's very easy, anybody can do it. On to blush, and this blush is probably one of my favorites from the drugstore. It's the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Refined Rose. I love it so much. It's so pretty and natural. Now on to lips. I'm using the Revlon lipstick. It's the matte lipstick in Pink Pout. And then to top it all off, I'm using Maybelline's Polished Petal Color Elixir. So this is the final look. I think this is perfect for anybody that wants to glam up for the evening. You want to look put together, but you don't want to overdo it where it looks like you're wearing just way too much makeup. You want to look nice, put together, and I think this is the perfect look for you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any requests, don't forget to leave them for me down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!